because conveniently I've had somebody <laughs> do a, a presentation in advance, so that was great. So everybody knows enough about the Play Standard tools, so I don't need to go into it. But in our case, um, it can be used for physical environment, which is what I've talked about, but it can also be used with a community of interest in particular. Uh, and that's what we were interested in in particular with regard to the Community Justice Partnership, uh, which had just really formed about the same time as I um, started in Fact Manager as well, I'm taking part in. Um, I think we touched on this um, as well. You know, a place really affects you know, the health inequalities that people suffer. This is looking at, um, and it's not me who's pulled this slide together, it's a, a wonderful intern from Jessica who's been working on this last year. But you can see how the age goes down um, as you move into different areas from Glasgow, which you use this to demonstrate it. Obviously, I've just uh, covered all this, so I'm just going to wrap this through. These are some of the questions that we used. And obviously, this can be used in different, different types of arenas. Um, I'd say community groups, community planning, partnerships, etc. And in our case, we were using it for um, actually early design, really, because we were looking at the community justice partnership and saying, what is it that actually people with lived experience? So I'm delighted also my <laughs> speakers before touched on that. What is it actually that we need to co-produce to improve people's um, outputs? In particular, we've got a really high level of suicide in Flat Manager, unfortunately, we've also got very high level of domestic abuse. Um, so I think we in particular have done a huge amount of work um, on um, uh, early childhood uh, trauma um, and identifying that. We're looking at becoming um, ACE-driven kind of uh, council on the back of that and done a lot of work on this trauma report, particularly led by the police in that area, which is good. Um, so how we use the tool. So in particular, we were using it with a group of very vulnerable and disadvantaged people. So it's not just young, but very disadvantaged um, and, and risk, at risk groups as well. And um, we're looking at, uh, so this is victims, so this is particularly uh, working with um, Plant Manager Women's Aid um, and other community groups, organisations that are in touch with uh, victims, uh, perpetrators, offenders, uh, young people, I've got a list in a minute, I'll co cover that, and those who may be potentially at risk. Um, we did pay these organisations to support them because you've got to be responsible. When you start talking about a place and you start talking about issues and experiences they've had, you've got to also protect them. So it was around having somebody supporting them through that discussion sometimes we felt was key uh, and responsible. The 24 one to one interviews and two group interviews we um, had together, they lasted a very long time. You have to invest a lot of time if you want the right information coming out. Um, and, it, and it was well worth it, trust me. Falkirk, we've done a truncated play standard. Um, we decided to do the whole thing. We've got to really understand about what people are experiencing in that place and what's affecting them. And I think we got 53 pages of information and when you start pulling that away and I'll talk about that in a minute into looking at service redesign that was key having that time for the service managers within employability service or criminal justice service, social work to actually read these experiences themselves was quite you know life-changing actually I think for some of them I've never seen the fire Scotland's fire and ambulance lead be so animated actually um, <laughs> to be honest which is great you know it's a great thing so these are groups who work with women's aid ACE, ACE is um, Alloa Community Enterprise, a second-hand furniture store. It's a third sector organisation, but actually supports a lot of offenders, um, in particular, um, yeah, particular kinds of offenders that were actually um, covered there. Recovery Cafe is very vibrant in our area, but it was good to get that life experience from those people. Women's group, the Women's Group um, and Community Payback and Man Up are all um, groups of people who are actually offenders, so they are actually covering the women's group is a women's group that are actually doing community payback, in a sense, or community service hours. Uh, Man Up is former offenders. Our Voices is run by Who Cares Scotland. It's a, look for, it's a group um, designed for looked after children. Again, we have, very high, we have a very high level of looked after children in Flat Manager, and they're obviously at risk, uh, as, you, as you know. Um, Apex, I think everybody knows, and People First is, is people with learning disabilities. And that is a group cohort that we uh, met with and we measured um, information, ethnicity, religion. It's 
one of the aspects of the place standard we've gone on to do a bit more work with it to actually to break down because we moved on to using looking at the town centre as well on the back of this and also another area very high deprivation which is part of our locality planning uh, the only one one area in that manager that is locality planning in the, in the Lloyds and so we wanted to have that breakdown we wanted to know what are older people saying over 75s are saying versus somebody who's 35 so we, we wanted to know that bit of information as well um, so this is our response so that we, we've got pretty much a good split between 46 and 54 age group very very more in the middle um, we also look at disability as well and so this is the data for all participants. So I've not done what, and we'll need to go back and maybe do that bit of exercise, actually. I will go back and say to us to do that. Um, I don't know if anyone's surprised at that, but basically, I should maybe ask the question before we started. But these are the three areas that were identified um, as most, um, the priority areas. Now these are, these are offenders. Which one are you most surprised about? Are you surprised about these? Yeah, so we're feeling safe. This group are not feeling safe in their own place, and yet they're the ones that are, one could say, we're perpetrating. And if I just quickly go on, um, social interaction, obviously, I think that's a, a no brainer, and it's a very good TED text by Johan Harry. Uh, it's, about, it's about drugs use in rats, um, but actually, it says if you give a rat the playground of all playgrounds, they don't take the drugs. So I think it's about thinking about that so we can have a look at. But I'm just going to show you very quickly, quite <coughs> high level, you can see, of recipients showing that. Um, these are some of the work, these are some of the things they said, and I can talk about that directly with you afterwards. Generally, it's slightly different. Women were saying housing and community was more of their, um, that's men, sorry, and this is women. And, but if you go on, I'm just, I'll talk to, this is the town centre. So we've gone on to do a bit of work with about 400, 500 people now actually have filled this in. The same feelings are around, are this, there, and this is a lot of older people in this, are still saying feeling safe. So that, that's maybe no surprise, but actually these are two groups, very different groups, and they are saying the same things. So we've got to look at that. Overall. Okay, I can chat more about this and, and some of the background afterwards. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>